All right, y'all, I want to update you guys on what's happening on Thursday, my birthday, 1027 in LA at Cookies Maywood. We're dropping the birthday pack, all right? The Pac-Man Jones, extremely fire. Let me show you what this is looking like. This is strong pack, too. I've been smoking this for the last month. Maybe that's why I didn't come out for now. I it up. Pac-Man's super gassy. Got that nice little purple tint on it. Um, this is bred by JBZ. It's a, a sister pheno of the Adios motherfucker, if you smoke that. The permanent market, if you smoke that. This thing right here is crazy. It's got its own vibe to it. But I'm going to show you how I've been rolling these up. We're also dropping the Syria a la mode rosin on 1027 as well. All right. This thing looks like baby food. It's beautiful. It's white. It smells like cinnamon toast crunch milk after three bowls of cereal. This is the cereal a la mode rosin right here. It's beautiful. I'm going to roll a hash oil right now and show you how you should be doing it on 1027. When From Seed to Sale drops, the album drops that day as well, 9 p.m. If you're coming to Maywood, we're also dropping the limited one-time only seed pack. All right. It's got the lavender lemonade times the Skittles, and it got the raspberry orgasm times uh, lavender lemonade as well. Uh, Ten seeds of that, five seeds of lavender lemonade times Skittles. This is a very rare drop, bred by Bodie, one-time release. 1027, you have to come see me in Maywood for that. That's the only time and way to get it. Unless we don't sell them all, then we'll set up another event. I'll be rolling up today with the uh, unreleased thick... Nice wide cut of vibes. You see the stars right through the paper. We're going to roll up a nice little hash hole to get the day started. Um, the album's super dope, man. We got 28 new records on there um, featuring Jameson, Mozzie, uh, my brother Cosmo. Uh, we got Seti Hendrix on there. We got Wiz Khalifa on there. A couple other friends on there as well. A lot of solo tracks. I'm super excited about From Seed to Sale. And I'm super excited to open up Cookies New York. That's opening up 1030, October 30th in New York City. Harold Square, bro. Right across the street from Macy's. Pretty iconic if you ask me. Um, but yeah, we're going to be smoking and celebrating all week. For those that come and buy the seed pack, it's important to know a couple things. Um, make sure you have your Discord already set up on your phone and account set up and everything ready to go. We're going to invite you into a private room. You'll be able to share the progress of your pheno hunt with us. You know, everything you find, things that you consider keepers. And at the end of this, um, everyone hunting will find a date to do a cup. So anyone that buys these seeds automatically enters into a private cup from this hunt. So we'll see who finds the best keeper. And we're not going to be giving away a trophy for this cup. We're going to be giving you an exclusive cut from myself and Bodhi. So the trophy will be a clone of something that's unreleased and something special. I think that's way cooler than a plastic or metal trophy. So, yeah, this this seed pack comes with, like, real interaction with me personally. And just a cool-ass experience. You're going to have 932 people hunting the same thing. And people will find males and collect pollen. And some people will find keepers and... I think that people will be able to network and do some cool breeding projects with this. So excited about that. Pac-Man Jones. Pac-Man got the pack. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, when this was selected, it was, uh, we knew this one was going to be big and, uh, everyone that smoked it has enjoyed it. It's probably going to get me high as hell without the hash. But since we're dropping both the Pac-Man and the cereal a la mode rosin on 1027, I figured I'd smoke them both and show you guys how I've been doing it. This is a killer combo. And, uh, man, they burn great. Especially with this uh, wider cut vibes paper. Really kind of makes the rolling a bit easier. So, i get your tip in there real quick. A lot of people have been asking about hash holes and how you roll them, so I figured I'd show it off real quick. How I do it, at least. I'm sure there's people that do it a little better than I, but... Fuck it. Sloppy stoner, quick roll up boys. That's how we're doing it today. You wanna get the weed kinda like a kinda like a square like that. Boom. Have it all in there. You want the hash hole to fold right in the middle. That the worm you make. Boom. This shit right here, I highly recommend if you do buy one of these, don't just follow me and just put it all in the thing. Definitely take a dab of it. 
Let me taste so good by itself. Like, look at that right there. That's that white. That's that, that's that baby food. That's what I like to call baby food. Probably going to put a little more than half of this in here. Um, you know, some people might say, oh, he made a little baby worm. She ate it. You see that white? You see that good rosin right there? Made at Maywood. Roll it on the palm just like that. Now, I see some people doing like wider, like thicker hash holes and doing them shorter. I like them a little longer, so I get it all the way through the J. At least mostly through the J. This is probably the perfect, boom, little, you feel me right there? Boom. Make sure you get everything in there. Everyone that smokes this with me right now after we film this is about to be extremely happy. This is going to make our day incredible. If you come to celebrate my birthday and you've got that budget, then after you buy the CPAC and after you get the Pac-Man and the rosin, roll one of these up for your Uncle Burn, man. Make sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter and let me know how you roll yours up. I'm sure people are going to be trying to outdo me all day, but that's okay. So, boom. Very easy. I'd probably say there's about like two and a half grams of flour in here, maybe... Maybe even almost three grams of flour in here. There's about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of rosin. I almost use a whole gram if you can see. There's only a little dab left. I want to make sure I got a taste of that by itself. We're going to make Stingy hit this and hold it in for a while. So we could have a bad day. Trip out. Roller coaster ride. I roll my hash holes a little looser for the airflow. I like to get those nice big rips. I've seen some roll tighter. I prefer the loose. Make sure if you're in the LA area, you come see us on Thursday, all right? Cookies Maywood, we're celebrating my birthday, the album release, and the drop of Pac-Man Jones, the cereal a la mode rosin, and fucking life. Oh, look at that. That motherfucker right there is about to smoke. Now, you remember the rules. If the peak ain't fitting in there to stuff it, don't puff it. All right? It's perfect, perfect roll right there. I'm going to fire this bitch up. It's pure gas. Until the hash kicks in, it's gas. The hash adds like a little candy to it. The cereal the mode hash is super, super sweet, super good. Duralog boys. Pac-Man Jones dropping Thursday. Cookies Maywood on my birthday. All right, pull up and see Pac-Man, see myself. Sierra Hour Mode Rosin. This shit right here is fire. And the one time only release of the From Seed to Sale C Pack. Bodhi took his time with this breeding project. It was bred for this album. Um, I haven't seen anyone else drop a body of work with the pack of seeds dedicated to that body of work. We're going to sit back and enjoy this incredible joint with this rosin and this flower. I hope to see you guys on Thursday. If I don't see you on Thursday, if you're on the East Coast, make sure you pull up to Cookies NYC, October 30th, Harrow Square. It's about to be a lovely day. Real lovely. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a birthday joint. That's how I'll be getting high on my birthday. I hope you guys get high like that too. <coughs> <laughs> oh exciting hell yeah well fuck I'm out of here man shit I just want to show you guys what we're doing how we're doing it fucking settle for less only smoke the best and if you're stressed then fucking finesse some of this and put it in your chest I just made a rhyme for you
that thing blowing right there, boy. 